Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for supporting the channel. I am your guy, the sports judge. Sean Payton got his wish. Now he's on the clock. The more interesting story now that you moved on from Russell Wilson and take on a record-breaking 85 million dead money is who is quarterbacking this team in 2024? I mean, that remains to be seen. You draft a quarterback. I know J.J. McCarthy is on everyone's mock draft to go to Denver. Obviously, Russell's performance did not justify the pay. It was ultimately a bad business deal. It was one of the most expensive mistakes this brand name franchise made. And quite frankly, it was the worst trade in NFL history. This is exactly what Sean Payton. Sean Payton wanted. He didn't want Russell Wilson as his quarterback. Sean Payton was able to convince the front office to pay Russell Wilson a record amount of money to basically go away. It was an outcome we all saw coming. We envisioned this. It was only a matter of time. The question was when. Chaos predicted predicted Bully, predictably ensued. Social media erupted. Sean Payton and Russell Wilson are, are two different people who could never get on the same page. We saw it time and time during the regular season. The sideline, you know, confrontations that took place. It was obvious. It, it wasn't long before the Wilson, the Wilson tenure would come to an ugly end. It did. It, it was clear to us that Sean Payton had animosity towards Russell and often made him the scapegoat for the debacle that transpired. Denver wasted so much money, and, and I get it. Russell won 11 games for a total of $124 million guaranteed. Nothing to show for it. And now Wilson is walking away happy. He's laughing to the bank. Wilson is walking away happy knowing how large his bank account is now. They owe Wilson $39 million guaranteed in 2024. So now we turn our attention, our attention to Sean Payton. The hourglass is on Sean Payton. And it starts now. And for me, the coach was the problem. But see, no one is talking about that. That's what nobody is talking about. Nobody is talking about that, and nobody wants to talk about Sean Payton and his poor play calling, which was really the problem. But I don't hear anybody bringing that up. The real baffling thing to me is how George Patton is still employed by the Broncos. That's crazy to me. That's wild. He should have been fired. This was a f fireable offense. The Russell Wilson Denver experiment ended tragically. More important to Russell, now that this is finally over and that there's some closure, Super Bowl aspirations. He wants to win again. He's still hungry to win another Championship. He feels like he probably has something left. Wilson could sign with a team like the Steelers for less money. On the surface, Wilson could fit in well with new Steelers offensive coordinator, Arthur Smith. Much like the way Ryan Tannehill did when Smith was his offensive coordinator in Tennessee. And Arthur Smith made it work. It was as if he resuscitated Tannehill's career, in which he did in a way, because Tannehill went from average to a somewhat elite passer. And Arthur Smith is known for boasting strong rushing attacks. So, I mean, this could work. That's why I said I think he will land with the Steelers, Russell Wilson. He, he goes there, and he's not asked to do too much. He's not asked to be the savior. Just go in there and do enough 
if Smith can scheme up a strong running game, the Steelers can get solid production from Russell. Pittsburgh wants to win with defense. They prioritize defense. You know, uh, that's their strong foundation. A ground game. An efficient, explosive pass offense. And pairing him with head coach Mike Tomlin seems like the match made in heaven. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everyone. You guys have a wonderful day. Hope all is well on Wednesday. It's Mark, it's Mark, it's March 6th already. We're getting closer and closer to March Madness. Uh, but I wanted to come on and talk a little bit more about Russell Wilson and where I think he will end up. And I think Pittsburgh is number one on the list. Talk to you guys very soon. Enjoy the rest of your morning.